definitely was not going to film this video. I actually just got my KK Fit package in last night. And we are now filming first thing in the morning. It's launching today at 2 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. I did mention in stories I was not going to actually film a YouTube video. It was only gonna be an Instagram try on review haul in stories, but I decided, you know what? I gotta come through for my girls. I gotta do it. Don't know if by the time you guys see this, if anything's even gonna be sold out or what the deal's gonna be. But nevertheless, I just gotta, I gotta come through for y'all. KK Fit, they done did it. I see every part of them in this collection, period. And I don't know about you, but when you scroll on their Instagram, it makes me wanna lift. So these pieces are definitely an extension of them. When I wear them, not gonna lie, I feel a little badass and I wanna lift them. They have a really nice variety of colors in their color palette. We have a lot of nudes, we got a desert orange color, we got real grunge black. But yeah, we still have that real cool minty green color to kind of counterbalance these warm tones we got going on in here. First and foremost, let me tell you how excited I was to see accessories. They also have high socks as well. At first I just saw the Gymshark logo and I was like, where's, where's Kate, Kate where's Kate? And then I turn around, I go, there it is. All right. Whoop, there it is. Definitely hit that subscribe button. We have a ton more Gymshark videos coming your way. New releases coming this month that you don't want to miss. Also follow me on Instagram and TikTok where I do a bunch of story hauls, reviews, and keep you guys up to date. All right, let's start with what I'm wearing, shall we? Yeah. I think so. All right, let's talk some sports bras. So they came out with a low support sports bra. It is so similar to me, to the V-neck training sports bra. You got that back thong all day. And if you know me, then you know that the V-neck training sports bra is my favorite Gymshark sports bra of all time. I have lightness here, meaning I got not a lot of girth. So the low support does me just right. This is my bra for back day. <laughs> so yeah, super low support. You do have their logo printed right on the left-hand side. This printed logo feels a little slippery grip. Does that make sense? I'm not really sure. But basically, it feels like somebody put a piece of tape on here. That's what it feels like. And that's not a bad thing. I'm just trying to describe the texture for you guys so you have a little insight into what to expect. It even feels like the training bra. I'm pretty sure it's Similar material, yeah, 78% nylon and 22% elastane. So if you like the training V-neck, you're gonna love this. I do think if you're in between sizes, you could absolutely size down. I feel like I could get away with a size extra small, but my size small is doing okay. I do think that this tan, this really light tan color, is so close to my natural skin tone, it hurts. I almost feel like I'm topless right now. Does anybody else see that? Did I just ruin this video for you? I think I did. So yeah, guys, in terms of the sports bras, two thumbs up. It's my tried and true type of sports bra that I live for. So yeah, perfect for lifting. You got it, girl. All right, let's talk leggings. I know I touch base on a lot of this on Instagram stories, but nevertheless, I wanted to touch base with you guys, my YouTube fam. Here we go. So these are a high-waisted, not seamless. Nothing in this collection is seamless. You do have a lot of flat line seams everywhere, a lot of seamed contour going down the leg. Guess what? This has a scrunch bum. This scrunch bum reminds me of the Whitney type of scrunch where once you put it on, it's not detectable at all. I do feel like these types of leggings are really, really, really soft, but not brushed soft. So it's not where you, where you smack a plate on it and the brushed fabric gets a little dingy. This is actually very similar to the training legging. And guys, when I reference the training collection, I'm just saying because that's what it's reminding me of, and that's a good thing. I am a huge fan of the training collection. You do have a relatively small band right here. You also have quad contouring going on here. Now, I'm not gonna lie, a little piece of me feels like it looks like panties. At the same time, I do feel like it does the job of quad contouring, especially if you actually have quads to contour. I don't really have all that going on over here. I'm trying, all right? I'm working on it, but it's not easy. Genetics. At the same time, if you are somebody that lives for leg day and you are blessed or you worked hard for those quads, then maybe this would work for you. They are very comfortable and very stretchy. You can feel the wicking properties throughout. There's no doubt about that. You have a very deep V seam going on right here. Kind of sits a little bit low on me. This sage green is surprisingly squat proof on me. A good sign for gym performance, but I did notice it slips ever so slightly right here. Like I can feel 
a gradual slip. It never goes past a certain point. This is about as low as it gets. But if I'm pulling these up to make them nice and high-waisted, I'll feel a little bit of that pull coming down right here. Overall, a moderate type of compression. What's gonna make or break this legging for a lot of people is the length though. This is actually a 7 8 legging, which is perfect for me because I'm five foot three. But if you're any taller than like 5'5", five five, I don't think these could work for you, especially if you don't, you know, if you don't want your legging to come all the way up to here like a capri. So just keep that in mind. I do believe it's only the one style of legging that's gonna be available. I feel like depending on the angle, you might see a little veggie going on here, but it's mostly just underneath. It's not coming through. There's no front seam or anything like that. So for the most part, it's pretty good in that department. Drop a comment down below. What do you guys think of these leggings, especially the quad seam? Is that a pass for you or just an absolutely yes, I love it kind of yeah, thing? Yeah, we got these real short, short, almost spanks in this collection. Now you could totally rock these at the gym. Me, I don't got it like that. Okay, I can't do that. These are the same material as the leggings. They're also equipped with that scrunch bum that we love. The first thing I noticed when actually wearing these is the fit around the backside is slightly let up right underneath the glutes, which I like, by the way, because this is where I carry a lot of my cellulite. Ain't no shame in that game, but that's where I carry my cellulite. So when it pinches in, I see more cellulite. So I'm glad that there's a little bit of let up right around here. However, they do have a little more of a tighter fit in the front here, I'm noticing. Not a huge deal. Makes them look like sexy Spanx. In this kind of lighting, natural daylight, I'm really not seeing any sheerness in the back here. And this is the lightest color of them all. This really, really light nude. It's got a blushy tone to it. I don't know if it's picking up in the camera, but you can see a little blushy tone in this kind of tan, very warm. Um, but it's really good in the squat proof department. So like, damn, okay. There is a little bit of a roll up though. So when I'm squatting up a storm, these will do a little bit of this, a little bit of roll up going on here. What I would use these for me personally, I would throw on their loose fitted shorts up on top here. Uh. Just like that. Okay, that's what I would do. Now, these do not have a built in liner, which is why I suggest using these underneath. And at first when I put these on, I was like, dang, these are like huge. But I really think this drawstring just does what it needs to do here. All of a sudden, just like that, it's cute as hell. I like the higher cut on the sides here. Zero pockets, nothing built in at all. This is more of just that lightweight windbreaker feel. The logo on the shorts is more grippy. So a little more of that grip action, whereas everything else so far has been more of like that, that tapey kind of feel. The cinch really works with these oversized shorts really snatches that waist, if I do say so myself. I totally think you could size down though, if you prefer a more form-fitted look, like you want it to look a little bit oversized, but not totally oversized, you could totally size down. I like my size small though. Okay, so let's mix it up and try on a crop top. That's backwards, isn't it? story of my life. Okay, their crop tops are a boxy fit. They have that cut look to them. Like, it looked like you took a pair of scissors and just cut straight across. You could size down in this if you'd like. I like my true size small. I do think it's really cool how they cut the logo in half. Again, that cropped cut look. I feel it's really edgy, really grunge. Again, I think this black just does it. It's got that very concrete type of pattern going on, so it looks like you're about to lift. This I wanna say that one of my favorite pieces in this entire collection that I'm going to use all the time is definitely the cropped hoodies. I wanted to wear the black one because I just feel like it's different. It's definitely got the print. Whereas the other colors are more just solid, straightforward types of pieces, the black has more texture look to it, which definitely breaks up an outfit, gives it a little something. It is a full, zip all the way up. I love the cinched band here. There's a little elastic band that cinches in to kind of give it more of that cropped, glovey look and give a little more oversized up top where you need it or where I actually really prefer to have it. There's not a whole lot of stretch in this, probably just as much as the t-shirt to be honest. I would not size down or up, but you be the judge. Like my small, my true size is working. Would you size down from this? 
because this is super comfortable. I can move around all day and night moving around and I would stick to this size. With how cropped up it is, I think it's cool that they added the little pockets right up here. I don't know, like what can I put in here? They still kept the integrity of a normal hoodie. That's what I'm talking about. It makes it functional and aesthetic at the same time. I think it looks pretty dope. Got that full-fledged hoodie. Ooh, dang, that's a, that's a low hood. That's what, when you deadlifting, you wanna be incognito, like me. I never wanna be seen. I just kinda go like this. This is definitely the hoodie, the color I should say, that will make that logo really bounce out at you right here. The other ones are very much more transparent, not really noticeable, so if you really wanna rep the logo, I would definitely go with this color completely. All right guys, so my final thoughts on the KK Fit times Gymshark collab. So I personally believe that this collection as a whole is really good for a specific kind of training preference. You can definitely tell that this was designed for weight training in mind. And KK Fit, well, that's them in a nutshell. There's a lot of things that I would use personally, like the back thong, that goes without say, all day, bae. The cropped hoodie cover-ups, even the crop regular crop t-shirts. I really like the loose fit shorts. There's a lot to like about this collection. There's no doubt about that. I do think there's a couple specific items that might be hit or miss for a lot of people, like the quad seams on the leggings. Like they are not my go-to preference when it comes to leggings, but I also really do love the fit, the feel of the legging. I do like the scrunch bum of it. And I really like the length because it works for me. If you're a crop lover like myself, then I'm pretty sure you're gonna really like these pieces. <laughs> if I forgot to mention anything, if you have a question about anything, drop a comment below and I will gladly get back to you. Huge congrats to KK Fit on this collaboration with Gymshark. I know that's a huge deal. So congratulations to them. Thank you all so much for watching. Give this video a thumbs up if you found it helpful. Definitely subscribe. We have a ton more Gymshark videos coming your way any day now. You're not gonna wanna miss it. Thank you guys for watching. I love you so much and I'll catch you in my next video.